Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I don't normally do a whole ton of reviews and trying new makeup on my channel, but I do like to dabble and I was quite interested in the new Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. Now one thing I'm going to tell you right off the bat that I find interesting is on this container. It calls it a hydrating skin tint and I'm looking at the Sephora website because I wanted to read you the claims and on the website it says Veil Hydrating Skin Tint Foundation. So I am interested to play with this today. I'm going to give you a first impression. I'm going to try and do a wear test. I do have a quinceanera coming up tonight. We will see how it holds up through that. But I was, for some reason, drawn to this. I wanted to test it out, and I thought that's what we would do today. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Kelly, and I love all things makeup and beauty. I love talking. I love makeup. I love talking about makeup. So if you like to chat about makeup too, I would love to have you subscribe and be part of the K-Bella fam. Why don't we go ahead and jump into the video? I did zoom you in so that we could get started. This is the packaging here, comes in a cute little squeezy tube. It says 1.1 fluid ounces, 12 month shelf life, super cute. I love the H that we have on the front here. I'm excited to test this out. I don't typically reach for skin tints. I'm more of like a foundation kind of gal. I don't really do the whole like, no makeup makeup look. My makeup tends to be lighter and more subtle anyway in general. But if I'm going to wear foundation, like I want to look like I'm wearing foundation. So we will see what I think of this skin tint. Before we apply it on the face, I do want to read the Sephora claims to you. And just so you know, I did get the shade 5 and it was described as light with warm undertones. Now I did post a reel when I got this on my Instagram and when I swatched it on my hand, it looked a little orange, which can sometimes happen with neutral undertones, and this says it's supposed to have light, warm undertones. So we'll see how it looks. I am shade five in their other foundation. We're gonna test this out today. Let me read the claims to you real quickly. What it is, a lightweight skin tint that boosts moisture levels by up to 52% for a dewy glow and provides a sheer veil of coverage for comfortable all day wear. So right off the bat, I love boosting moisture, dry skin, love a dewy glow, sheer veil of coverage. That's typically why I'm not into skin tints. I don't want a sheer coverage. Like I want some coverage. This says sheer coverage, comfortable all day wear, light coverage, radiant finish, liquid foundation. Down at the bottom, what else you should know? Melts quickly into the skin, providing comfortable all day wear and a sheer veil of coverage to diffuse imperfections and visibly even skin tone while plumping and smoothing the complexion. We will see about that. We're gonna test it out today. I did already prep my skin with my typical dew drops from Glow Recipe and then a little bit of the Tatcha liquid uh, silk canvas. I do have a couple blemishes right here. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I also typically apply with a sponge, but I do have my sponge and my BK 101 in case you like to apply with a brush. You typically get more coverage that way. We're gonna test them both out. It does say to shake well. Like I said, I did get the shade five, which is what I am in their other foundation. But when I put this onto my skin, it looks a little orange, so we'll see. Let's put this right here first. And maybe I'll go in with my foundation brush first. Again, I don't typically go in with foundation brushes I feel like this has an interesting scent. Almost a little bit sunscreeny. I don't know. I don't know about that. Right off the bat, I am seeing a glow. Definitely seeing a glow. We have some hydration. I can see a little bit of color, but it is very sheer. You can see all of my freckles, you can see my blemishes, you can see my little beauty mark. You can still see my skin underneath. I'm going in with a little bit more on the brush. You can still see my skin underneath. I don't typically struggle with redness or anything like that, so I don't wanna say like, oh, it's covering up all my redness. Okay, I don't really have 
I don't have redness. The way that I typically tell how much coverage I'm getting is if you can see my freckles. I would definitely say with the brush, I can see the glow. I can see my, my skin peeking through. I can see my freckles. And I would definitely say it's sheer coverage, like really sheer coverage. And that was like one little squeeze. What I'm gonna do, you typically get less coverage. I'm doing another little squeeze. You typically get less coverage with a sponge, but a sponge is how I prefer to apply my foundation. I normally spray my brush, my, my brush, my sponge. My sponge is already damp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to press this into the skin and see what the coverage is looking like here. Let me see. I don't really see a difference. I don't, I don't really see a difference. Ah! My sponge went flying. I'm gonna put a little bit more right here. Let me also turn my brightness down just like a tiny bit. And apply like another little another little coat but honestly I don't really see a difference between the brush and the sponge if I'm being honest and right now I've applied it to this part of my face and not to my forehead and honestly you're get, you're getting a sheer you're getting a sheer veil of coverage because I would not like if I were to go out in public right now, I don't think anybody would notice that I have something on this part of my face and not the top of my face. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the forehead. I used what was left on my hand, but I'm gonna get a little bit more for my forehead. I'm trying to talk through this because I want you guys to see the real time. I don't wanna like skip through or speed it up. I want you to get the full effect. This is now, it's squeeze tube, okay? This is now the third time that I've gone in and gotten some, and what I'm gonna do is just kind of, I maybe grabbed a little bit too much, but I'm gonna put some more on my forehead, see if we can layer it up. Again, it does say that it's going to have sheer coverage, so I mean, I'm not really expecting much. I do like a lighter coverage but this is definitely definitely sheer I'm getting a hydrated look I'm getting glowy skin but my freckles are still peeking through I'm now just kind of applying the way that I would apply because I don't really feel like the brush and the sponge applied differently looking at my skin I feel like if I were to go to the store right now, I don't think anybody would think I had like a foundation or a skin tint on. It's definitely very natural. What? What's going on here? Do y'all see this little piece of hair? Can you move out of the way? Um, yeah, so I feel like it definitely just looks like my skin. I agree with sheer coverage. I feel like I am getting like a dewy glowy look here. I did go in and squeeze this out three times. I do still have some left from that last bit. I feel like I kind of grabbed a lot, so I don't want to waste it. We're going to see if we can layer it up a bit. I don't, I'm not a, tint, a skin tint expert, okay? I don't have any other skin tints. The only one that I would say is close to a skin tint that I tried before that I actually really liked was the Urban Decay, what was it called, the Hydrator? I don't remember what it's called, I'll pop up a picture right here. I had that in the shade, shade Light 30, but I don't, I mean, I feel like it was kind of marketed as a skin tint, but in all honesty, I did get good coverage with that. So here, I feel like my skin looks like my skin, it looks healthy, it looks glowy, it looks dewy. I don't feel like I look like I have a foundation on. 
The one thing I didn't do that I normally do is I didn't put sunscreen on because I didn't know with this being a sheer coverage if the sunscreen would alter it too much. So you're just getting like primed skin, my skincare, and then this on top. I'm not going to use the rest of this because I don't want to keep loading it up. So I am wasting a little bit there. I'd say maybe I did like two and a half squirts. How do you measure a squirt? I don't know. But what I'm going to do is I am going to apply the rest of my face. So when I come back, I will have the rest of my face done and we can see what it's looking like then. Okay, so here's what my face looks like with the rest of my makeup done. And I feel like it's helpful for you to know what else I put on my face. So I did go in with a couple kinds of concealer. I do like to color correct because I have dark circles, so I did use my Sigma Under Eye Corrector. I used both of these mixed together underneath my eyes, but I did use the deeper one to try and cover up those two little blemishes that I had. Then I did go in with concealer, and I used two kinds of concealer. I went in with my Pat McGrath uh, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfecting Concealer in L5, and the reason why I use a second concealer is because I meant to get L4. And I didn't. So I have L5 and then I go in with my Milani on top of that in 115 Light Nude. And I want to say, when I was blending out my concealer, I honestly feel like the concealer gave more coverage than the skin tint. I kind of had to make sure I was blending really well and that I didn't go in too heavy with the concealer because I did feel like I got a little bit more coverage. Now I did also set my face, well, I set underneath my eyes. I didn't set my whole face, but I used my Sigma powder. This is in Vanilla Bean, and I set just underneath my eyes and my forehead. For bronzer, I did go in with my Rare Beauty Cream Bronzer. This is in the shade Happy Soul. And then I pulled out one that I haven't used in a while. This was one of the face palettes in Gianna from Adept Cosmetics, but I only used the bronzer shade here and a fluffy brush to kind of set that cream bronzer down. For blush, I did go in with my Dior. This is in uh, 001 Pink, my Rosy Glow Blush. And for highlighter, I did use my Resurgence Highlighter. This was the collab between Unearthly and Heather Austin. And I actually mixed the two shades together. I feel like it gives me like a nice blush topper. Super pretty. Oh man. I just tried to put this little plastic back in and dug a little hole. And renewal. That's a bummer. For the lips, I do have ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Beeper and then my BK Beauty Grace Lipstick. And on the eyes, this is a real, uh, should be on my Instagram already, but I did use the Coastal Palette from Alter Ego. So definitely check my Instagram if you want to see that real and a close-up application of the highlight. But I'm going to go ahead and zoom out and, and share some first impression thoughts with you. Okay, so first impression, I would say this definitely gives you very light coverage. When it says sheer, it means sheer. This is a skin tint. Again, I can't really speak to like covering up redness because I don't struggle with that, but I can still see my freckles underneath. I can still see that blemish. Like my skin looks like my skin. Did it really even things out? I don't know because I don't struggle with that, but it did give me like a nice glow. My skin looked healthy and I feel like it feels like it's set down fine. I didn't powder my whole face. Everything else went on just fine. And I feel like overall, I mean, my makeup looks put together. I did go in with a little bit more of a, a heavier makeup look for myself just because I do have a quince that I'm going to later. But overall, I mean, I feel like my skin looks good. It looks like my skin, but you can still see like the freckles and everything underneath, but also I look nice and even. So I don't know yet, this is a first impression, so I don't know yet quite how I feel about this. I don't have my thoughts fully together. Definitely, if you like more medium, buildable, full coverage, this is not going to be for you. It is definitely very sheer, very sheer, very light coverage. But I plan to do some check-ins throughout the day. So right now, it is 103. Don't know if you can tell, it's 103. And my check-ins will be from my iPhone, like throughout the evening and I will kind of close it out and give my final thoughts at the end of the night before I wash my face. But this is what it is looking like right here. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the check-ins. Okay, so I'm outside. It has been two hours since I applied the skin tint and I just kind of wanted to show you what it's looking like so far. I did put the rest of my makeup on, I finished filming, I did some like reels and stuff like that. 
I did remove my makeup because I was eating lunch. But this is what it's looking like after two hours. Still pretty much looks the same as when I initially applied it. I'll check back in in a couple more hours. I'm doing another quick check-in. I am getting ready for the quinceanera. Sorry, it's really bright here in Texas. Um, I'm getting ready for the quince. We're about to leave soon. It is 5.30. So I've been wearing this for five and a half hours. I haven't really been doing much. I don't really see anything breaking up. I mean, it looks, still looks good to me. I don't see any dryness by my nose. You can definitely see the freckles poking through. The next time I check in will be when we get home and I'm ready to wash it off. But here's what it is looking like right now. Okay, it's now 10.30 at night. I have been wearing this face for 10 hours. And I feel like the skin tint held up really well. I mean, it definitely is light coverage, very light. You can see my freckles, you can see the blemishes that I have going on here. You can see the texture on my skin, but I mean, the makeup stayed on well. You can see everything lasted. I don't have any like weird patches, nothing breaking up on my face. So I need to try it out some more and see how I feel about the skin tint, but I do feel like it held up well, even, you know, with me being at the quince and it was hot and people were dancing in this Texas heat. I was outside for a little bit today and I mean, we're in the triple digits here and it's still held up. There's no weird patches or breaking. So if you are into a light coverage, you may be into this. Definitely, if you are not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe before you go because I will be doing a follow-up. I'm going to test this out a little bit more, and then I have several items that I'm going to come back and do a speed reviews with. So that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to wash this face off. Here's another close-up of what it's looking like 10 hours later, but I'm going to wash my face and go to bed now.